Today we're going to work on restoring an old park bench with some leftover decking material. Let's begin. A few months ago I was talking to my dad on the phone and he said that somebody had thrown out an old park bench frame by his driveway. And I was thinking, hmm, that sounds like a pretty cool project, so I went and picked it up. Let's take a look at it. The frame is in pretty good condition here, everything still looks nice and sturdy. Back here on the back there is a little surface rust and some scale that will have to be removed. Looking at all the hardware, I'm pretty sure this is probably stainless steel and, a, and most of it's here. Looking at the armrests, these look like they're probably a little dry rotted so I'm going to have to replace them but that's a good template. Looking down at the footers, same thing, they are dry rotted and starting to fall apart in some areas but again, those look apparently to be pretty good template. I can trace those out. Um, I know that on some park benches that these are the outer pieces and a lot of times they'll have a center metal piece as well to support the wood but uh, that obviously is not here. So we'll see what we can do to fabricate that. Alright first off we're going to remove all this hardware and wood and then we're going to sand it down. Look at the dry rod on this thing. Look at that. Oh, Just wow. Now the wood I'm going to use on this park bench is just some leftover pressure treated wood I had from a previous project. This right here is just some decking board and this is a 2x4. We're going to cut those down to the appropriate size. Now using a jigsaw on these, well, they're not going to come out perfect. But I just got to remember that this is going to be sitting on an uneven ground. So as long as they're pretty close, they'll work. Now to cut down the pieces for the arm, I'm just going to use the remaining 2x4. We're going to cut it the length with a miter saw and then rip it down on a table saw. Now that we have these cut, I'm just going to transfer the holes from the old boards to the new boards. If by chance I didn't have these, I would just use the template from the metal frame. Now I'm going to be using a Forstner bit on the bottom of each of these footers just to recess that hole a little bit so that the bolt is not touching the ground. With the footers cut and drilled, they're pretty much done other than maybe some splinters I need to knock down. Now when it comes to the armrest, since my arm and hands are going to be touching, it's a good idea for me to sand these down, knock down all the corner edges and roughness, and prevent any splinters or getting cut from them. And to do that, we're just going to use a homemade bow sander. Now I want this park bench to be about four feet wide, so we're going to go ahead and cut the decking boards down to that. Now that we have most of the wood cut out, I want to create the center frame that will help support everything going across. But I don't have any metal that's similar to this frame, so we're going to try and make it out of some wood. But before I can do that, i got to figure out the angle between the seat and the back. And I'm going to do that with a couple different squares here. I have a combination square I'm going to rest on the bottom of the seat here. And then a speed square we're going to rest along the top. We're going to bump them together really slowly. Then I'm going to angle the speed square out, and that is about seven degrees. So the angle is roughly 97 degrees. To make this support I'm using some pressure treated 2x4s. On the base down here on the back I have cut a seven degree angle and once I attach these two pieces together it should match the seat and provide some extra support. Now I'm going to be using some type 3 waterproof glue for this. Next up I'm going to be drilling a bunch of holes. I've taken a bunch of measurements of exactly where I want these boards to go and exactly where these holes need to be. Now please keep in mind that uh, these boards were never meant to go on this frame so they're not going to exactly be well symmetrical, at least where the holes are. And uh, I'm sure that would drive some people nuts, it might be even my wife a little bit. But uh, overall we're trying to do this as inexpensively as possible. So. That's how we're going to do it. Sometimes when you're restoring old furniture, you'll notice that when you go to put everything together, that it is, well, crooked. And for the feet to be flat, the angle of this is actually going to have to be really far off, as you can see there. So this right here is bent real bad, but fortunately, this is going to be behind the wood, so all you really see is where the bolts are, so it shouldn't be too noticeable. Before I install these onto the frame, I'm going to lightly go over each one with a sanding block just to remove some of the discoloration and make them look a little bit better. We're going to be using the original carriage bolts that came out of this. Now some of these are a little bit rough looking, but they still move nice and easy and the tops are still shiny, so these will work.
Now for the seat part, I'm just going to lay the boards on top of the frame, trace it out, and drill out the holes. That is, except for the front here, I'm going to have to figure this out because this curves around. So I'm going to have to do something fancy for that. But let's get these done first. Now with this curve here, I have to do something fancy. So I think I'm going to rip a board down into three separate pieces and have it at about a 45 degree angle gluing them back together. And that should give me a curve around here. At least that is my plan. And then if I have to, I can go back and sand off any sharp edges to make it smooth around here. So let's give that a shot. Well, at least it's lighter than I thought it was going to be. I ended up cutting out three sections, but I did leave the roundover factory edge on the outside just to make it less work. The outside pieces have a 22 and a half degree angle and the inside piece has 10 degrees on each side. I then proceeded to glue everything together and it's now ready to install. Now that we have both the armrests in place, the last thing I need to do is add that center support that I made earlier. Now all this is going to do is take in each of these individual boards and just tie them together so it'll be one strong unit. And to find out the exact measurement I need, I'm just going to align it along the edge here and that'll allow me to trim around this curve and get a much more accurate setup. I'm just going to use some 2 inch deck screws to install this. And to avoid any splitting, I'm pre-drilling these holes. And just adding a small countersink to keep them from sticking up. And finally, we can install the armrests and it'll be done. And the end result looks great. This park bench is a nice addition to our front porch. It is strong, sturdy, and should last many years. Plus, it is comfortable enough for an afternoon nap. And the best part is, since I used leftovers to build it, I didn't have any costs out of pocket. Now I have some additional videos right over here you might like, so make sure you check those out. Otherwise, get on your shop and have fun building.